Hello, Coaster Enthusiasts. Hershen Family Entertainment is taking over operations at Kentucky Kingdom in Louisville, Kentucky. The Kentucky State Fair Board is selling the park's operating rights to Hershen, which operates Dollywood, Silver Dollar City, and Wild Adventures. Ed Hart, who operated the park from 1990 to 1998 and who restored and reopened the park in 2014 and who's operated it since, felt that this was the proper move after a troublesome 2020 season due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So what does the future hold for Kentucky Kingdom? I believe the park is in good hands for the foreseeable future. No, I don't think Hershend is going to make it a flagship park like Dollywood or Silver Dollar City, but I feel it will continue to thrive under their management. I feel that they will bring more family entertainment to the park like shows and performances. I don't think we will see new rides added until 2022 or even 2023. Now when it comes to roller coasters, the park is pretty landlocked so new coasters would need to be pretty compact and may need to intertwine over existing rides or old rides would need to be replaced entirely. Hopefully the Thunder Run wooden coaster wouldn't be removed. Now I'm not saying that Hershen might remove the ride and I don't think they would. But given that they recently closed the Cheetah at Wild Adventures and they demolished the abandoned Ozark Wildcat at Celebration City in 2015, it could still be a possibility. Designed by Curtis Summers and John Fetterman and built by the Din Corporation and opened in August 1990, Thunder Run is the first coaster designed by John Fetterman and is one of only four surviving coasters built by the Din Corporation. I rode Thunder Run on July 20th, 2009, back when the park was still Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom. I thought the ride was pretty rough, but it was rideable. But that was before the ride was restored by Ed Hart, so I have yet to return to the park to ride it again. I could, however, see Hershend eventually replacing the park's Vacoma SLC, T3. Opened in 1995 as T2, T3 is North America's first SLC. When I wrote it, it was by far the worst of the SLCs I have written. But again, this was before it too was refurbished and reopened in 2015 with new trains built by Kumbach. I heard by some that the ride was improved, but some have also said that the ride is worse. But I'll need to ride it with the new trains in order to give it a new opinion. I would hope that if the ride is removed, that it would be sold to another park. Nonetheless, I hope Kentucky Kingdom will continue to grow and improve under the management of Hershen Family Entertainment. I haven't been to the park in 12 years, and hopefully I'll finally get back there in the near future. So that's going to be it for our video today. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the HCF in the link in the description. Have a good day, enthusiasts.